morning, everyone. Our city councilors voting as a pack or as part of a coalition in Calgary. Well, now you can find out. CouncilTracker.ca is now up and live, and it keeps track of how every city councilor votes. The Manning Foundation is behind this website. The site lets you see many, many things like how councilors vote regarding money issues, how often city council goes in camera, you know, meeting in secret. You can even track attendance. Council members hope CouncilTracker.ca gets Calgarians more interested in civic politics. I hope that, that people will get more interested uh, in what we do here. I think what we do here is very, very important. I think what we do here is um, it affects our lives every single day, how we live our lives every single day. So what we do here is really important. Um, and the more that we can get people involved in their city, the better. The Manning Foundation, by the way, promises to keep tabs on what's going on at City Hall and says staff will be updating CouncilTracker.ca quite frequently. In a little more than three months or so, Alberta Tories will choose a new leader of their party with the deadline. Nominations, 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. It's looking more like it will stay a three-person race. Jim Prentice and Rick McIver have officially filed their nomination papers. Thomas Lukasik says he will be submitting his 500 signatures and 50,000 non-refundable dollar deposit tomorrow. All three are out on the stump already, talking about everything from temporary foreign workers to how they'll connect with Albertans to even managing the provincial books. If we need to access uh, debt financing to do so, we will. We will uh, minimize the debt that, uh, that is financed and we will cap that debt. And then we will report to Albertans uh, twice per year in a report card to ensure that uh, they are comfortable with what's being built, where it's being built. Uh, and that we are staying on budget. I think uh, having uh, an office in uh, in the capital and, and one in Calgary, or both of those things are appropriate, and that would uh, that would be enough. Albertans find it problematic that federal government is aware of some 1,000 abusers and will not deal with them and punish them for doing so. Instead, they choose to punish the entire industry. Leadership candidates, by the way, could be tripping over each other. The race to pick a new leader of the NDP also kicks off next week. New Democrats will choose their new leader to replace the retiring Brian Mason on October the 18th. U.S. President Barack Obama says Maya Angelou was a truly phenomenal woman and one of the brightest lights of our time. The 86-year-old passing away yesterday. Today, this morning, tributes continue to pour in. The hells we have lived through and lived through still have sharpened our senses and toughened our will. Maya Angelou's words resonating with the masses of people, providing a lot of inspiration to anyone who hears them as well or reads them. Aside from being a poet and author, she was a true Renaissance woman, having worked as a professional dancer, actress, composer, teacher, filmmaker, playwright, and, of course, civil rights activist. One of her most famous books is I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. As Maya Angelou's passing continues to draw an outpouring of accolades, here in Calgary, local bookstores are remembering her legacy through her written words. She uh, was very much a believer in inspiring people to express themselves and to uh, bringing women's issues to the fore. So she did a lot of uh, publicity. She led a very uh, public life. One of Maya Angelou's famous quotes is, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Again, passing away at the age of 86. It's now 737. A minivan driving along a North Carolina highway hit and killed an alligator. And look at how large the creature is. The gator is nearly 12 feet long, weighs about 700 pounds you can see it's as long as a police cruiser ironically it happened near the alligator river national wild wildlife refuge wildlife officials say the gator appears to be similar in size to a large male that was regularly spotted at the refuge they're examining one of the gator's bones now to try to figure out exactly how old this alligator was that's your news to 738 heading back to tar and Jim.